Huh. Ain't that a thing? Alright, so I actually had to uh, remove the hardened energy cell that I had here for a while because it ran out of power. I think it used about maybe half the power uh, running the operations I needed to. I've been uh, crafting for about 20 minutes here and I run back to my base a couple times to get, get some more materials. But I believe I have everything I need in order to make a tier 1 rocket. So this right here, at least for now, is the dimensional transceiver that uh, Trionis gave me. Um, I don't think it's absolutely necessary to have it right here. This thing does not require that much power. I just happen to need it at the moment. I think I think a, a redstone energy cell would be perfectly acceptable in, in this position. But for now, I, I'm using it to manufacture the last of the heavy-duty plate. There we go. So 32, so I only need 31. There it is. One redstone torch, one tin canister, one button, three compressed tin, th nine compressed steel, one flint and steel, and 31 heavy-duty plate. This is what you need in order to make a tier one rocket. So let's, let's make it. So tier one rocket, uh, it, what you do is not click on a workbench, you, click, you actually click on this thing. This, I don't know what the heck this is. This is a NASA workbench. So what this does, is it shows it shows you this setup here. Now, one thing I want to fix this actually. Let me, let me try. Now, in the older versions, this thing did not actually. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, this thing, th 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 this uh, rather workbench does not retain items. It works more like a vanilla workbench, and then a, then a Tinker's Contract one. So in that you can't leave stuff in here and go back and get more stuff. So you have to actually ma manufacture everything, then put it in all at once. But we can do that. So what you need, first things first, on top you need a nose cone, that's just three heavy duty plate and a redstone torch. So go over to this handy dandy Tinker's Construct crafting station, three of these and the torch. One nose cone. Next thing, you need one tier one rocket engine, you need four plate, the canister, flint and steel, button, and a auction vent, which is three tin and one steel. Three tin, one steel, and I believe it was like this. Yep, tier one rocket engine, check. And I need four of these rocket fins, and these, these are heavy duty plate and compressed steel. So I just go like, oh, sorry, go like that, and like that, and you need four. There you go, that, that those are the completed components. Head over to the workbench, put in, hmm, nope, I don't know, that's odd. I think it was off by one, not sure how. So one, oh no, that is, sorry, I mean, wait, actually that's, that's, that's 32, so this is 31, I was right. So four engines, uh, fins, or ends, for four fins, one engine, as you can see in the background here, it's getting particle effects and I'm adding the correct items in the right, right place. So it is now generating a tier one rocket. However, I just realized I forgot a crucial ingredient. Be right back. Okay, so the crucial ingredient I forgot is one chest. I, I guess, so like I said before, when, when, you, when you first land on, on, on a space station, you will not have that much inventory. You'll only have what's available in the para chest. The tier one rocket will not land in of itself like it will on the moon. So it's not really any point of, of putting three chests on it because you will not have that much space. I'm not sure what happens to all the items. It's possible the para chest expands. I'm not totally sure about that. So I'm not really going to risk it. So I've got a tier one rocket with 18 storage space. So those of you who see my Attack of the B Team series, Remember this. Yeah! I got me a rocket. I got me a rocket. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. If I was wearing my, my, my full redstone armor, it would be more impressive, but still, very impressive nonetheless. Very very happy with, with, with how this turned out. So we, we have our tier one rocket. So this is really all we need. So the, the next step is going to be in, in, in the next recording session, not right now, is going to be going going up here, take the tier one rocket, drop it down in the middle of this launch pad. This is actually three launch, nine launch pad tiles. You hit it right in the middle of here. 
you go into this fuel loader, hit load fuel. This thing has a power cell, has, um, but it, actually that mode doesn't have any fuel in it. So you have to actually have to load the fuel using the canister, like I said before. So I think it only needs like one, maybe two. Because I'm really not sure how much fuel it needs, but it's not very much. And we have we have more than enough fuel. Feel free to use as much as much as you want. We've got tons of fuel power. If you run low on power, you can you can just take the battery over to. Um, Actually, let's still install there. Um, you, you, you can recharge it in most types of uh, recharging stations, including mechanism, industrial craft, or you, I think you can put it even in the generator I have over here. Uh, where's the generator? There, you can put, you can, oh, I actually can't put it in a generator, to be honest. Hmm. Well, anyway, you, you can recharge it in a number of different ways. You don't, have to, uh, don't really have to worry about that. And yeah, so all you have, all you have to do is hit it. And, and go there, but here's the important thing. You have to wait until I have a com I've completed my space station and, and, and I've invited you in in order to access the, uh, the, the space station dimension for this server. If you go into space and uh, you don't have the proper uh, uh, space station building package, which I can show you fairly easily, actually. Well, I, I think I'm right down here somewhere. Oh, it, it's basically just it's an advanced wafer and maybe uh, a half a stack worth of mixed ingots. It's not very expensive. But if you go into space with that, that, that space station building package, you will create a separate dimension. When it says space station, if you don't have that package with you, it will only give you the option to travel to either the moon or to uh, the overworld. And you can go to the moon if you want to, but I kind of want us all to go together, and I would like for us to have the space station as sort of a staging area before we go to the moon, just as a sort of an easier uh, stepping stone up into, into the stars and beyond the moon to Mars eventually. I've actually never been to Mars. I've been to the moon, those of you who see my Attack of the B series, B Team series, but I never made it to Mars, and I'm really you know looking forward to finally going there and, and, and seeing all the bacteria and, and seeing the, the three-headed creeper boss. Uh, it's going it's to be a lot of fun once we can get there. And most importantly, I'm very looking forward to going to space and being able to build some really cool stuff. I've got tons of ideas for space stations, satellites, all, all kinds of stuff. Using um, One thing I really want to do is to build, I think I mentioned it, I may have mentioned it before. If I didn't, this is uh, the precursor of what I want to do. It's actually indicated by the minecar presence up there. Space Railroad. Yeah, think about that for a second. That is going to be fun once, once we get to it. But uh, before that happens, I need a lot more material. And I think I, I, I'm going to have time to do some, do some of it on camera here. The tier 1 rocket was step 1. I'm also going to need a couple of, of energy cells just as backup. I think I've got one or two uh, this size. Very useful to carry a couple of energy cells uh, up in space because Gladcraft energy is somewhat unreliable. And believe me, I've done some weird stuff with math to try and figure out what is the best way to get power up in space. And although arguably a dimensional transceiver attached from the, 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 the power station up into space would be very useful. However, I think I would like eventually like to have not only an AE2 system up there, but a UU liquid production facility up in space. That's going to require a massive amount of power, more than I think Trionis's power plant can hold, especially considering that he's now basically supplying the entire overworld with power. So while I appreciate that, I don't want to overtax uh, his power plant. So what I want, what I'm going to do, or actually, I was, believe me, this took me a while to figure out. I'm going to make these things. There are, I believe, four different solar panel arrays on on Bebo's tech pack. There, there is the one from Galacticraft, which is a this is, uh, it's not my favorite thing. Produces power in kilowatts or joules or some variation on that. Not my favorite thing. Not terribly efficient. There, there, there's also also one from Mechanism, which we actually use a degree effect around here. That one is pretty good. However, it does actually require half a stack of osmium per unit, so it's not very scalable. The one I was going to do, and I'm looking forward to doing it for quite some time now, was the uh, event was the uh, was the high voltage solar array from Compact Solar using Industrial Craft Two solar panels. That thing actually scales pretty well. Eventually, you can make your a high voltage solar array, which is just one block, which will generate 512 EU per tick, which is a disgusting amount, amount of energy. And if my calculations are correct, um, two of those two of those HV solar arrays would produce one operation of UU matter approximately every 10 minutes, which is phenomenal. 
that that that's like oh my god it's a disgusting amount of power however i found to me it's actually even better and it's 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 so much better i'm kind of thinking it might be broken to be honest the advanced or is it advanced photovoltaic photovoltaic cell from ender io hmm is that it uh yep that's it advanced uh, photovoltaic cell this thing produces a maximum output again this is solar panels it's all about maximum output maximum output of 40 rf per tick and the the, the thing that sims it for me is what it costs to make this thing it's dirt cheap it requires a little bit of, of um uh emeralds some 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 iron a little bit of glowstone uh a little bit of nether of nether quartz because you need to make and uh don't make these enlightened fused quartz which i actually have a couple spares a daylight sensor the main the main limiting as far as i can tell as far as i can tell the main limiting reagent in making these things is ender pearls and it doesn't it only requires like six ender pearls each this thing puts out a disturbing amount of free energy this is what we're going to be using in in space and it's actually not that hard to produce it doesn't even require that many specialized equipment specialized machines and i already have the uh i think it's called the advanced smelter or what's that thing called uh there you go, the alloy smelter. I actually have one of those. So we've already got, it's going to require a lot of power, that's true, but we've got power from the power plant. So a lot of ender pearls, and we have massive amounts of power for UU production. So eventually, one day, one day my dream will come true. Here's what my dream is. Want to hear my dream? T, Earl Grey, hot. That is what I want. I want to be able to replicate T in space. It's, and it's, it sounds like a crazy dream, but it might not be impossible if I get the right amount of power together. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. But again, that, that, that's, that's in the future. I need, I need to. I, I, want, I do want, I want to bring a couple of those, of those generators up, uh, full of photovoltaic cells in order to power this thing. Um, the power is going to be an issue for a number of reasons, one of which is the oxygen sealer. Basically, uh, the way that oxygen bubbles work, and not, not to be confused with oxygen, oxygen compressors, this is a collector, this is a compressor. Oxygen collectors collect oxygen from the environment. Up in space and in the moon, there is no oxygen, so they collect um, at their oxygen from leaf blocks. They collect leaf blocks within five blocks of the collector. So that means we can make an 11 cube, uh, essentially, uh, of, of leaves to power a collector. And we're going to make two of, two of these things. Oh, it's starting to rain upstairs. I mean, make, make make two of these of, the, of these collectors. That should be enough to provide uh, oxygen for, for the, the entire base. Um, and that those are going to be attached to a couple of these compressors for just for backup, and attached to the sealers, which can be the main source of oxygen in terms of the base being sealed and being able to walk around without having to worry about oxygen unless, unless there's an emergency. That is different, however, from, the, from what, what I want what I want to work on. Sorry about that. Uh, that, 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 that the, the, issue, the issue with this, however, is that the oxygen collectors basically have to be outside of the oxygen in, in environment. Otherwise, it's kind of like a loop, and I don't think, I'm pretty sure it's something that makes it doesn't work like that. I actually won't, because they only get some... Um, Okay, long story short, it will not work as a loop if you were to put oxygen collector inside an oxygenated environment. In the in, in other dimensions, it requires leaf blocks. So in order to get the oxygen from the outside of, of, of the space station to the inside of, of the space station, you need what are called sealable oxy oxygen blocks. There's a couple of these things. There's sealable aluminum wire, sealable heavy aluminum wire, oxygen pipe, copper cable. These are actually pretty useful if you come to think of it. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure these are, I think these are industrial craft, to be honest, so that could be, yeah, it looks like industrial craft, so that's going to be very useful when, when it comes to a transport pipe, also going to be very useful, oh, I think those actually might be, oh, no, oh, okay, it's build craft, hmm, cool, I, 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 that's going to come in handy. So, so we're going to need to make basically a method of transferring oxygen and power from the outside of the space station into the inside, which means we're going to have to convert the power from, from the most advanced photovoltaic cells, which output RF, into, I'm pretty sure, the storage batteries that we just saw by accident. Here we go. The energy storage uh, module and cluster, probably, I think the 
module is one, the cluster is like is five. So probably eventually, eventually the cluster. We have to go from the photovoltaic cells to the cluster, through the wall into the inside of, of the of the space station in order to get power inside. Yes, I realize I could just do the same thing with with, with a dimensional transceiver, but. I don't really want to. It just seems kind of. I mean, in the overworld, I can see that. I can see the point. I just think it's kind of cheating in space. Plus, you know, we have ways around it. It's just going to take a little bit of conversion. So, and I also, you know, it's about space. You can build this kind of stuff anywhere, but in space, it's more difficult. It's more of a challenge. You actually have to go out into a hostile environment where you have limited air. Uh, and you know, going up and down costs fuel. Eventually, uh, we will get the EP3 portal up, up and running, so it won't it won't take uh, necessarily as much fuel. But I still like to go, you know, flying off in a rocket. We have a freaking rocket. We may as well use the thing. So I, I've been well, I've been yakking around talking about what we, we still need to make. We need to make a couple couple other things when it comes to it. Um, we make oxygen pipe. We need to make. Um, Power power storage. Need to make heavy oxygen cable. We also I also want to bring a generator just in case. I've got a spare over here actually, but I think I make a second one. Just it's always useful to have some way of, of making power just from you know burning whatever. Is a uh, power becomes an issue once you're once you're up there. So I, I'm I'm gonna go and make make some of this stuff off camera, and uh, I'll show you when, when, when I've got enough to start hitting in the space.